I'm applying for a United States Coast Guard documentation, and these are all the forms I had to deal with. Some of these pages are instructions, so what you actually have to fill out is only six pages, or at least that's what I filled out. Maybe there's more that I need to do. I'll let you know how it goes. I just applied this month. On this page, you only need to check one thing, so the rest of the page probably won't apply to you unless you're putting it in the name of a limited liability or a corporation or something. On this page, I had to figure out what 46 CFR Part 67 Subpart 1 is. I think all it means is that you have to mark the boat on the inside in some way that's clearly visible and difficult to remove, such that if it were removed, it would show signs of damage on the boat. If anybody knows exactly what it means, then let us know in the comments. The total cost was $133. I just sent in the application in the month of April. I'll let you know if I actually get documented and if I filled out all the forms that needed to be filled out. I don't know how long the process will take, but I'll let you know whenever I get feedback from the Coast Guard. Here's this big ladder that I don't need. So I'm going to repurpose this piece and that one. I thought it might take me all day to get all of this cut up and disassembled from the trailer, but everything is off that I want to be off. So now I can start customizing it for what I want it to be. This piece just unbolts from there. This piece goes all the way back to about here. That should add plenty of extra strength. Same on the bottom. A nice, big, fat, deep weld. Now I'm going to weld up this hole that I drilled and this gash that I made with the grinder. Same thing on the other side. The idea is to attach this outer piece to the piece that's inside here. Got the trailer painted, everything's cut off of there that I don't want on. Got it facing this way because the plan is to put it in that way to go under the boat so that the bow is at the front of the trailer. And this is how the extension came out. This is what became of the stands, the stanchions that I got off the trailer. Here's some that I haven't used yet. I didn't feel safe using the jack underneath there, so I'm going to use the engine hoist on the side. I'm going to weld on these pieces. That's the setup. Five hours later, I've got the boat high enough to get on these stands. Decided to add some strength to the stand in the front.
The rust removal was done with a dull 80 grit paper. Came out real nice. And here's how the stand for the back is going to be. That's the top crossbar. This will go on the bottom. That's the flat bar I got from the forest. And these will be the stands. I'll show you that next month because I'm not ready to put it on yet. That's all the progress for the month of April. I should have the trailer underneath it in the next week or so. I'll show you that at the beginning of next month.